Hello everybody, Shan Heron at The Easiest Swing. I'm joined by Philip Sparks. And today we're gonna to be talking about what we feel is the most overlooked part of the golf swing. We just can't understand why this one move, this one position isn't coached to all golfers. And learning this move will bring your golf swing much, much more consistency on the golf course. So that's what's coming up in this video now. The one move, the one position, Philip. Now we never talk about positions, positions at the easiest swing. The one position that we do talk about, we cannot believe is not coached to all golfers. And this move, this position, Philip, it really helps golfers to commit to the shot and achieve that, that consistency that it, 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 that eludes us all, doesn't it? Absolutely. And we see it with all the best players, don't we? We, we certainly We watch do. a lot of their swings and we see this lovely position and they can get into it every single time, which means that they're gonna get consistency because if it's consistently in that same place, you're gonna get consistency of striking. So what are we talking about, What Sean? are we talking about? Are we gonna keep the keep audience the in any more suspense? <laughs> well, folks, we're talking about the finish position. Yes, the finishing de the destination of your golf swing. And by setting your finish position, by committing to that finish position, you end up committing to the golf shot yourself. And we see a lot of amateur golfers not doing that, don't we, Philip? Absolutely, I think what we often see is we'll see them finish, you know, if you look at three different shots, they finish in three completely different places. And the, the, the argument I always hear from amateurs is, yeah, but I've hit the ball, it's gone, it's already it's finished. What does it matter where I finish once, once the ball is gone? But actually, if you finish in three different places on three different shots, you can get, rest assured that position down at the bottom of the swing is gonna be different as it's well. It's gonna be different, and you're gonna elaborate on that in a, in a, in a little bit. But uh, let's just talk about some of those players' swings that we do admire. Yeah, absolutely. If you think of people like Freddie Couples, Freddie Ernie Couples. Els, Vijay Singh. Uh. Uh, Paul Casey. Paul Casey, the grace, yep. the, yeah, the, the, the silky smooth finish. Yeah. They just all possess that skill, don't they? And you rarely, rarely see anything similar to that with top golfers. And, so, and, and we know that the, the coaches out there are all working very hard on your aim, grip, stance, posture, takeaway, you know, halfway back in the backswing, swing plane, downswing, all these kind of things. Hmm. And yet, they kind of overlook the one thing that actually matters where you're going. You know, if you go, jump in your car and you've got a destination to go to, you need to know where you're going. You it doesn't really matter what the route is to get right, there, as long right. as you actually end or up. Or what you're doing in the car. Subconsciously, yeah. you know your destination, and the golf swing works the same way. Yeah, yeah. if you yeah. know where you're going to finish, if you know you're gonna get there, it's gonna be calm and relaxed and balanced. And balanced. It's gonna make a huge difference. So we're gonna, discuss this now in this video in three very, very simple, easy to understand steps. So let's go right into the first step, Philip. Yeah, okay. The first step, Philip, would you like to demonstrate how simple and easy this is to coach and for you to take straight onto the golf course? Absolutely. Um, what we can look at here is just the simplest possible way to get this right. And so rather than trying to find the most technical perfect position, we're not looking at that. We're just looking at a simple way to encourage yourself to, to find a finished position that you can get to every single time. And this really doesn't matter what standard you play at, what your at handicap all. is, no. irrelevant. We've got players who are plus handicapped golfers who've learned this same move and really improve their game with it as well. Yeah, absolutely. Let's elaborate on this first step, Philip, and there's nothing, no better way to do that than uh, a demonstration. And it is just so simple and easy to do. So I'm gonna step out of the way here for the okay. camera and you can show us. Right, for this second, I'm not gonna actually hit a shot, but I'm gonna show you the move that can get you into that finished position, balanced and nice and easy. And again, we can do this, the, the player really can be any standard of player, it really is irrelevant. It's whether it's a lady beginner, or a junior, or a senior golfer. Um, you know, we've got players of all standards who are learning this move and finding it improves their game. So, and, and speaking of which, Philip, one of our members, one of our easiest swing fans is a plus 1.7 handicap player. In fact, he was the North 
Kentucky US senior amateur champion. senior champion. Mm. And uh, he was the last person to get a lesson from Brian. And it was this move that really, really helped his game take it to even an even higher standard. Yeah. So yeah. it's really not to be underestimated, folks. No, so to break this down, it's, and it's not something we normally do is breaking down movements, but this, is, this can be broken down into a really simple movement anybody can learn. So all you're gonna do is just pick the club up and put it on your left shoulder if you're right-handed. And from there, just turn through to the target. And that's the finished position. Can you just hold that position, Philip, just yeah. for the viewers? So let's just take this apart a little bit. And there's not a lot to take apart, but just look at the balance first and foremost. We want to have this, hold this nice balanced finish. Look how graceful it looks. Particularly, look how soft this whole right side is. Yeah, yeah. That's we we often see people who get close to this position, but they're here. Or, or there. Yeah. yeah. You can just feel the tension. So yeah. often just breathe and let that air come out. out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes. Bit of a breathe. So those are two two specifics, the balance and the relaxed, graceful finish position. Yeah. Yeah. And like any journey, you've got a destination, you've got a, a place you'll know you're going to. Doesn't really matter too much what the route for that journey is, you know where you're going to finish. And the great thing with that is that it means if you always finish in the same place, there's a good chance you're going to develop consistency through the bottom here. Now, I'll just demonstrate for a second, by contrast, what we see a lot of club golfers do, they will have maybe three or four different positions they finish the shot on. One might be here what, with the balance all over the place. You know, another one might be trying to get the follow through like this, but losing balance at the end of the swing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and very often, very the most often common this next we see one, yes. is yes. down here, the wooden short, swing. wooden, yes. not really going through the swing. And this, properly. this, this happens. I mean, it happens anyway. We see it pretty much across the board, but especially on those shots where you feel a little bit extra tense. Yeah. And that's where it's really crucial to commit to that finished position. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's quite a nice kind of comfort blanket as it well, is. is that if the shot's intimidating, you're already feeling tense for a kickoff, just you know, calm yourself down a little bit. But if you know that you're gonna finish in that balanced position before you even take the shot, it kind of comforts you a little bit to know you've got that destination. You know what else it does, folks? It takes all your mental thinking out of the equation. Yeah. So all you need to be considering is that finished destination and just let the swing take care of itself. Yeah. So that's a, that's, a, that's a really important point to mention. It, it quietens the mind, this, this uh, commitment to that finished position. Yeah. So Philip, would you like to show the viewers what we often see rather than this lovely, balanced, graceful, relaxed finish? Yeah, for sure, Shan. Um, because what we will see is that we'll see because you don't know where your destination is, because you don't know where you're going to end up, you end up in a different place every time. And so, you know, that place could be out of balance. You know, your feet could be struggling because your weight's in the wrong part, wrong place at the end of the swing here, and you're struggling to maintain any kind of balance, so you can't finish in a position because you're off balance. Mm -hmm. Uh, it could be because it's been abbreviated because you're so anxious about the ball and the, and the target that you just kind of don't get through the shot. You stop it there. We see that very often. Yeah, yeah. yeah this sort of abbreviated position here. And then obviously there's the, the, there's the one just kind of the, the wild swing where, you know, you're kind of off the feet as you're playing here like this. Uh, and again, it's showing there's going to be a different end to every swing. Now, people often ask me, well, what does it matter? You know, what? You're hitting the ball. Once you've hit the ball, why does the follow there's through nothing matter? Nothing you can do about it. Yeah, yeah it's nothing. too late. You've, yeah. you've already hit the ball. But actually, the key is that if you finish in the same place every time, there's a very good chance that you're going to go the same route through the ball on the way. 
and uh, getting, if you, getting that weight transfer through getting that in, weight transfer for through and not thinking too much about sort of the actual ball in, itself and exactly. staying down on the ball this common thing about trying to keep your head down trying to keep focused on the ball actually no swinging through and finishing the swing here in this balanced position and the key is that if you finish in that same position every single time for every single shot you're going to develop consistency through the bottom of the swing there yeah, absolutely. Wonderful, Philip. Thank you for that. The third step, Philip, uh, the balanced, the balance and the relaxation and the importance of those two elements in yeah. the finished position. Yeah, absolutely. If you're going to get to this finished position and, and replicate it every single time, you cannot do that if you, A, you're not balanced, and B, you're not relaxed, because if you're not relaxed, you will not find this position. And that's again, if you're going back to those, the, the, the shots we've just seen of the great players, just look how relaxed they are at the very, very end of their golf swing there. That's no coincidence. That's something they've, they've learned and practiced and made become routine. The great thing is that if you know you're gonna finish there, it takes your, your focus away from the swing, the ball, all those things. All the positions. All the positions. All the technical nonsense. Absolutely. And it just gives you something to really focus on. You know, that and the target, combine the two things, the target and your finished position in a balance there really will help you. I, I just want to add, you know, I love the metaphor of driving and setting your GPS or your, <laughs> your destination in the, in the subconscious brain. You know where you're going. You turn on the radio, you look out the window, you can do all sorts of... Uh, stuff in between the journey, but you have that destination set in your subconscious mind. So this is the same. It's exactly the same. We, we, we have the destination in our mind, in our, in our subconscious, and it helps to quieten the mental activity, which helps the relaxation too. We hope you've enjoyed this video about finishing the golf swing. The only position you'll ever hear us mention at the easiest swing. That's how much importance we put on this uh, part of the golf swing. Um, Philip, any last words? No, I think it's just a question of going through the routine of learning this. You can learn it from La Dance to Golf, get La Dance to Golf first. Once you've got La Dance to Golf, that finished position in La Dance to Golf, it's such a simple transition into this finished position. Or use the Jim Sweeney one, which is just bring the club up in front of you, let, lay it on your shoulder, and then turn into that position. If you learn that position, take some time to practice it, get used to it, make it become routine, and then you can get into that position every time. Every time. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Remember, play it, live it, share it. If your mates get better, you'll get better too. Yeah. Share it with your friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>